faraway land lived a little boy named Peter. Peter lived with his grandfather in a little white cottage next to a forest. There was a high stone wall around the cottage with a gate which grandfather opened in the summertime. One morning, Peter went out into the forest. There on the branch of a big oak tree sat Robin Redbreast, Peter's friend. Look, there's Diana the duck waddling around. She said, Hello, Peter. I think I'll go for a nice swim in the pond. And she did. When the robin saw the duck, he flew down upon the grass next to the pond. You're no bird if you can't fly, said the robin. You're no bird if you can't swim, said the duck. So they argued and argued, the duck in the pond and the robin on the grass. Suddenly, Peter saw something. It was a Maltese cat crawling through the grass. The cat was after the robin. Look out, said Peter, and the robin flew up into the tree just in time. Diana Duck quacked angrily. The cat crawled round and round the tree, but by the time he could climb up there, Robin would fly away. Just then, Grandpa came out. Peter, what would you do if a wolf came along? He was angry because Peter had gone into the forest. So he took Peter back to the little white cottage and locked the gate. Just then, a big gray wolf came out of the forest. The cat ran up the tree. Diana Duck jumped out of the pond. She tried to run away, but the wolf was too fast for her. Closer and closer he came. And he caught her and swallowed Diana Duck in one big go. The cat was shaking with fright high on the branch of an oak tree. Robin Redbreast was on another branch, not too near the cat, of course. And the wolf stalked round the oak tree, watching them greedily. not afraid at all, saw the wolf. He ran into the cottage, got a strong rope, and climbed to the top of the wall. Then he swung himself onto the branch of a tree, and he said to Robin Redbreast, you keep the wolf busy by flying around his head, but be careful. Well, Robin flapped his wings all around the wolf's head, and though the wolf snapped at him, he couldn't catch him. Peter made a lasso and he let it down very carefully. He slipped the lasso around the wolf's tail and pulled with all his strength. The wolf tried to free himself, but the more he pulled, the tighter the lasso became. Then Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. At that moment, some hunters came out of the woods. Don't shoot, said Peter. I have trapped the wolf. Let's take him to the zoo. So off they went. First marched Peter. Then the hunter leading the wolf. And at the tail end of the parade, Grandpa and the cat. Robin Redbreast flew happily over them. Diana Duck quacked inside the wolf because he had swallowed her in one piece and she was still alive. When the wolf heard the quacking, he was so surprised, he opened his mouth and Diana Duck jumped out. So all of Peter's forest friends were saved from the wolf. Thank you.